on www.facebook.com slash DZRJ at 10 a.m. or on YouTube, channel RJ News. <laughs> to all the Radio Bandido viewers and listeners, catch us on YouTube. Just search for RJ News PH, hit the subscribe button, and like the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified when a new video gets uploaded. Don't miss out on our dynamite lineup. You can now listen to DCRJ 810 AM from all over the world through Radio Garden. Step 1. Go to the App Store. Step 2. Download Radio Garden. Step 3. Wait for the app to plant seeds. Step 4. Search for DZRJ 810 AM. Remember, it's free on all mobile devices. Hmm. Yes, uh, good noon, folks. This is Good News Filipinas, DZRJ 810 AM. We're live right now on our radio, Radio Bandido TV, DZRJ 810 AM. This is Francis Aguzman, your host, and a very happy and blessed and a healthy new year to everyone, to uh, our groups uh, in the U.S. who are live right now watching us all over the world, also all the capital cities of the world where DCRJ is watched and, and uh, listened to on Radio Bandido, on Facebook, social media, and uh, folks, uh, it's been a rainy day this whole morning, and hopefully uh, things will clear up because this is uh, the, the third day of the 2021 New Year. And, uh, you know, uh, the New Year always has bring us always the hope. Hope, that is the word, H-O-P-E, H-O-P-E, hope. And uh, blessings, you know. And today we will be discussing about the, the uh, unending blessing that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ and God himself. So, folks, while we're waiting for uh, our beloved uh, co-host and friend in Christ, Pastor Ruel Tika of the Hillcrest Baptist Church, and uh, we have a very, very special guest today. From Davao City, uh, whom I met way back uh, during a fellowship service at Drain New Wine and Oil Ministries in San Juan. And he came back from the US and I met him. And I was so much uh, impressed by his, you know, his spiritual uh, life that he was, uh, you know, discussing with me and sharing in fellowship. And uh, I would like to welcome my dear friend, uh, Pastor Dong Wilfredo Adriano. Welcome, Pastor. Yeah, welcome. Uh, God bless you. Yes. Uh, you know, from uh, his, I will give you a very briefing about his, uh, you know, uh, how he became a pastor. <laughs> pastor Dong, uh, I heard uh, here I that you came from the University of the East in UE. Yes. Uh, what did you take up in UE, Pastor Don? I was taking civil engineering, but I did not finish because uh, a block of uh, financial resources at that time. During that period. That's why I had to stop and work. Right. I think that was a period that was very crucial during the 70s, right, Pastor? Yeah, that I, I started in 1970. Uh, 69 towards uh, I, I, I've seen a lot of chaos there because of the rallies, uh, protest rallies during yeah. the Mar uh, during the Marcos period until uh, martial law was declared. Yes, Pastor. Th those are the days, no? Because that's the university belt, right, Pastor? Yes. So oh. it I was able to see a number of uh, students from PCC. Uh, PSBA, NCBA, UP, passing by uh, <laughs> the uh, Recto. Re Recto. Recto. Yeah, going yeah. to Minjola. And also Gaston <laughs> Right. Okay. Oh, 
we were also witness to this um, Paso Dong kasi uh, I took up my course of uh, mass communication no in San Beda College pastor during the 70s. Uh, yeah, okay. 68 to 72. Uh, I belong to the batch 72 uh, pastor. So we have seen uh, a lot of uh, you know things that happened there during that period very crucial in the history of the Philippines. Yes. After, yes, pastor. And uh, uh, Pastor Dong Fox uh, is serving as a pastor of the Jesus is Lord Church, J-I-L, of Matina, Playa, Davao City. Right, Pastor? Yes. Yes, I've been watching uh, uh, Pastor Ed Villanueva also and, uh, and, and uh, Senator Joel uh, Villanueva during the uh, holidays when they greeted, you know, the, the congregation uh, during the holidays. And uh, I saw them. And in fact... Uh, uh, I, I believe in my heart that uh, they are recovering from the loss of their loved ones. Pastor Dong, uh, this is their uh, the sister wife of Pastor uh, Ed Villanueva. Sister Dory. Sister Dory, yes. Uh, this, uh, she she was Mayor Johnny. And, and oh, Mayor Bukawi. Johnny in uh, Bulacan, right, Pastor? Bukawi, Bulacan, so, yeah. Bukawi, Bulacan, oh. So, Pastor uh, Dong, while we're waiting for uh, Pastor Tika to join us because it's uh, uh, closing the service uh, with a prayer now in Hillcrest Baptist Church no, uh, in Quezon City near UP, near University of the Philippines. Uh, Pastor, we would like to greet some of our friends uh, from the U.S. No, uh, uh, Richie and Janet, uh, happy, happy and uh, a very healthy New Year. They yes. are from uh, Miami, Florida, USA. Also, uh, my uh, grandchildren from New York, Pastor uh, Brian, and uh, and my my, my two uh, uh, little ones, you know, my <laughs> the sons of Richie, Brian and Rainer, uh, in New York City, and also uh, Lala uh, from New York, Lala and Larry, uh, father and daughter team, <laughs> who is watching us right now. And uh, also from uh, Malaysia, uh, my sister Tess uh, uh, Dawood, uh, who is watching also and listening from Malaysia. And greetings also to my sister in Canada uh, and, and uh, her husband, Joey Montano, Cookie and Joey Montano, Canada. And also to Patch, to Len, uh, Happy New Year. May the Lord bless and keep you. And, uh, you know, uh, Pastor, this, this past year was really terrible, huh? Uh, mm. 2020, thank God, nakadaan na. And uh, by God's grace, you know, we are alive and well by His grace, you know, and He's kept us alive and, and saved, saved us from uh, the pandemic. And uh, we've been very sad because we've been hearing... Uh, a lot of news about our friends and close friends and relatives dying of the disease, you know. And uh, ang, ang Diyos talaga mabait kasi before uh, that happened, the Lord has uh, prepared them to meet Him. Uh, and, and now they are in, in this uh, blessed peace, you know, that this world can mm. never give. Uh, Jesus said that He is the shalom uh, that no one can give. So, Pastor, while uh, we're waiting for Pastor Ruel, uh, today's topic will be discussing also uh, the social media questions on what's the most extravagant gift you've ever received. Uh, this is regarding to the blessing, no, Pastor? How did you respond to such a generosity? And what steps can you take today to be more generous more and, a blessing and a blessing to, to others? So, Pastor, uh, before we begin, I would like to do an intro on our program. And uh, the world's blessing promise, promises happiness, actually, the world, no? But delivers ultimate emptiness and pain. Yet most people, sadly, and even many professing Christians today, leaders and followers alike, live for the world's blessings. That is really very mm. sad, no? Um, 
God's blessing is the only blessing that counts both for time and eternity. We use the word blessing so much that it has become just another word to us. What does blessing really mean to God's people and to God himself? Mm. Bless, blessing or blessed is mentioned over 30 times in the book of Genesis, the Old Testament, the most common word of God doing something favorable to someone or something. Far too often today, we switch that order around. Very blessed. Claiming God is blessing us while what's actually happening is we're neglecting our call to be a blessing to others. As God told Abraham, be a blessing. God told this to Abraham, the father of the nation of Israel. And uh, are we willing to follow after God's blessing? Have we, have we learned? For indeed, we are still learning and and in order to be blessed, we must first be a blessing. But how? These questions will be answered later, folks. And uh, it's easy <clears throat> to sit back, thank God, for our blessing, especially when they are material. Blessings come in many forms. <clears throat> God has blessed us all with many different gifts in many ways and purposes. But what is, this is the question, what is the difference? What then is sure and certain beyond any doubt? Is it that God has blessed us or, or we belong to him, to God? For God's blessing is unbreakable to be God's blessing to others. How big is our bucket today? Are we pouring out our blessings into others or are we just keeping them by ourselves? What's holding us back from all of God's blessings? Did you know there are two types of blessings in general? The first kind is known as a common blessing. The rain, the sunlight, the air, and others. One doesn't have to be a faithful child of God to, to receive this, no? Because even the, the unbelievers receive it. But the second blessing is the most important. However, this is known as the unique blessing, which includes both the spiritual and the, and the material riches, but available only, only to God's children, his chosen ones. Come, therefore, and experience God's unbreakable blessings. Listen and watch us today as we do a live program, telecast, DCRJ, 8, 10 a.m., Radio Bandido TV, Good News Filipinas. And our topic for today, God's unbreakable blessing with Pastor Ruel Tika of the Hillcrest Family Baptist Church, my co-host, and, and good friend in Christ, and our special guest from Davao City, our good friend, Pastor Wilfredo Bo Dong Adriano. Pastor Dong, it's your call. Yes. <laughs> okay, Pastor Dong. Uh, that word, uh, bless, usually you know, as if we cannot utter a prayer without that word, bless, bless, bless. But actually, oh. uh, if, yeah, it's been overused. It's been overused. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just say bless, but bless with what? You have to, mm -hmm. Lord, bless them with good health, with, uh, with, with strong mind, sound mind. As if the bless is over, as if we speak it in a way that it encompasses everything that we do not know. But sometimes we have to be specific. That's true. That's very uh, true. Particularly for those hearing our prayers, especially for the person we are praying for. Um, that word uh, bless in uh, Hebrew comes from that word uh, barak. And uh, 
and yes, uh, okay. usually it speaks of gift or present but okay. it also means respect wow so, respect, uh, respect. yes so in a way you know uh, when we bless a person we respect no yeah. we give respect so sometimes we bring gifts and god in in also because he loves us he blesses us with a lot of uh, physical and spiritual things and just like uh, in ephesians chapter 1 he blessed us with so much of spiritual things yeah. so uh, uh, becoming a so when you, when somebody becomes a believer in Christ he receives a lot of blessings just like the japanese say taksang taksang ne no so many <laughs> so many <laughs> okay. so many blessings uh, and sometimes as we grow in Christ no we we begin to discover these blessings as we read the bible as we pray as we interact with fellow believers uh, we we get to encounter or discover that blessing that uh, we have not uh, known yet actually there's they said there are over 3000 blessings in the bible that uh, are given to the jews uh, in particular and also to those who uh, who believe in christ uh, as uh, mentioned by paul in the new testament there are a lot of blessings so many blessings that we could claim but there are blessings that we cannot claim because we are not jews yeah there are a lot of blessings that are mentioned specifically to jews or to the israelites yes pastor um uh, you know uh, this uh, new year you know uh, so so many uh, things uh, we are hoping for you know in our lives especially after what has happened in 2020 right pastor yes yes uh, so uh, majority of the people of the world are, are expecting a turnabout Uh, from the curses to uh, the blessing, to the blessings of, of, of God, no Almighty. Mm. Oh, so uh, in, in, indeed, no, so many things. Uh, in fact, uh, when, when I was reading a, a past uh, message given by uh, Sister Nora Lucero of the Philippine Bible, uh, uh, of the Philippine Bible uh, Society, no, uh, she said this uh, to to me and my family. To him who is able to keep you from falling, and to bring you faultless and joyful before His glorious presence, to the only God, our Savior, to Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, a majesty, might, and authority from all ages, past and now, and forever, uh, and ever. Amen. So she was mm. citing uh, the book of Jude, one twenty-four, twenty-five, and she mm. was sharing that blessing uh, during that uh, New Year. No, uh, just as we entered 2020 that time, and uh, nakaka ano yun nakaka bigay ng uh, you know uh, kagalak sa puso, no, pastor. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, you even uh, sent a beautiful message to us. <laughs> If I remember, uh, you said Shalom. May the Lord grant you good health, favors, breakthroughs, protection, prosperity, peace, grace. A shining witness for him. Yeah, this was what you sent us, no? During that period, all for his greatest glory. Uh, and then keep in touch from Pastor Dong and Esther R. Adriano of Davao City. Mm. I'm still keeping your. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, I. Uh, I'm so uh, happy for this message. I, I cherish it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Pastor Dong. Yes, Pastor. Uh, can can you still share with us the meaning of uh, the word blessing from the uh, scriptures of the okay, Bible? Okay, I'll try, huh? Yes. Um, um, that word, the uh, uh, barak or bless. Barak. Uh, we, when Paul mentioned it in Ephesians 5:4, said, "Always be giving thanks to all things." Uh, This uh, this is sounds impossible, especially you know in the last year when we went through so much uh, anxieties, you know, the twists and turns of life, 
Yeah. I know uh, there was a friend here in Davao, a pastor who died of COVID. He got it from his son. And oh also God. another pastor in Metro Manila uh, who loves Israel also passed away uh, due to COVID. Yeah. When, when, you, when you see and hear about these things, it's hard to always give thanks to God. But we are encouraged, we are commanded by the Word of God to give thanks, no? And, uh, and uh, we are called to bless God. We are called to give, to give praise, to give thanks to God. Uh, because we acknowledge that God is the source of, of every good thing that happens. Yeah. And uh, uh, before the time of the Lord Jesus until today, uh, Jews are commanded to bless. In Psalm 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Amen. And wow. then also... Ju- uh, at the end of each service, yeah. the Jews in the synagogue and, and a number of, uh, of churches here in the Philippines and around the world, the pastor will release the ironic blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. <speaking in Hebrew> And when that word shalom is released, no, it's an abundant blessing. It's not just peace, it's well-being, you know, it's good health, it's prosperity, it's all of the good things you know, that uh, God has prepared for you, you know, it's, it's, uh, spoken to you, to be experienced, to be uh, no, to be lived out in a way, you not know, for you to just to enjoy. Because God, our God is a good God. In Amen. Psalm 136, verse 1, it says, O do Adonai kitob kile olam kasdo. O give thanks to the Lord for His good, His love endures forever. And, and that Psalm alone, no? Psalm 136, it has 26 verses. And every verse, there is that, there's that, there's that phrase, for His love endures forever. We have a good God that blesses us always. Amen. And sometimes we do not know why, why sometimes why the twists and turns you know, of life happens to us. We just don't know why, but there, sometimes God allows it to happen so that we will learn our lesson, that we could, that we could be humble, that uh, 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 so we won't be proud and focus and learn uh, his commandments, His law. Amen. Sometimes yes. we, because of the pleasures in life, uh, we God. sometimes forget who God is and what He has done for us and we claim all the glories for ourselves. Mm. And, uh, and God at times allows uh, difficult things, even afflictions to take place to teach us lessons. So, yes, Pastor, um, uh, you were mentioning that no, from uh, the book of uh, Psalms no, a while mm. ago, uh, uh, 136, uh, that's 1 to 26, Pastor? Yes, uh, 1 to 26. Uh, uh, the Lord is good and His love endures forever, you know. Uh, yes. <clears throat> that, that, that very, very, uh, that particular verse, you know, had an impact, uh, if I recall now, from my studies of the of the Old Testament, no. Uh, I came across this during the time uh, when when Solomon uh, fulfilled uh, the promise of uh, God that he will have a, a temple built there. Mm-hmm. And uh, when the temple was built, you know, uh, the Israelites started to to sing praises and worship God, and they were saying this one, uh, this exact verse, no, that you mentioned, mm-hmm. and then the the Shekinah. Uh, glory of the Lord uh, came down. Uh, mm. he, he visited his people in the temple, the, uh, King Solomon and his people during that period. Mm. Yeah, it's a very beautiful, you know, I know. Very, very beautiful. In fact, uh, if people will, will uh, you know, remember this, it is also a thanksgiving to him. Yes. Him who has Actually, 
everything. Actually, we were commanded by Paul no? uh, to give thanks to God daily, every day. Daily, oh, wow. Oh, yes. Give thanks. Uh, in everything, give thanks. In everything. Everything, give thanks. The little things, the big things, the sad things, yeah. the bad things. Of course, we're not, we're not rejoicing with cancer. But we know that in the midst of this, God will, uh, will, will teach yeah. us lessons, will see us through. His yeah. name will be exalted. Yeah. Uh, the, coming back to Psalm 136, that, that verse, verse 1, Hodu le Adonai kitob ki le olam tasdo. And sometimes we sing it, no? Hodu Adonai kitob ki le olam tasdo. O du Adonai ki tohob, ki le olam tasdo. O du, o du, o du, o du, o du Adonai ki tohob. O du, o du, o du, o du, o du Adonai ki tohob. Then we sing it in English. O give thanks to the Lord for His good, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for His good and His mercies endures forever. Amen. That verse alone is very oh, rich. No? Yes, yes. Uh, Pastor Dong, uh, my co-host is uh, back. Uh, welcome yes, and happy him. blessed New Year to Pastor Welka of uh, Hillcrest Baptist Church. Pastor, how are you? <laughs> Hello po, Pastor Dong. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, kamusta rin po, Pastor? The Lord's blessings be yours. Nako, alam niyo yung kantang kinanta ninyo. Matagal ko nang narinig yun. Nako, it was really refreshing to hear again. <laughs> Ay, uh, actually, yun ang message ko this morning eh. Oh. Uh, talagang buong Psalm 136 verses 1 to 26 talagang dinaanan wow. namin and we sang... Yung kanta ni Michael W. Smith, Give thanks to the yes. Lord, our God and King, His love endures forever. Yan. Amen. Pati kay Don Moen, kinanta din namin. Uh, ang, kasi bawal kumanta rito sa church namin ngayon eh, dito sa Davao. Kaya inimbitahan ko si Michael W. Smith at si Don Moen. Uh, last week, grabe, maniwala kay Pastor. Last week, our guest was Paul Wilbur. Wow. <laughs> uh, because of because of the restrictions in the churches in uh, particularly in our church we have invited the uh, world famous worship leaders. Yes. Wow. Worship. <laughs> amen. And we are enjoying it. Oh, amen. Alam niyo sa totoo lang po, we really have to look it in that perspective. What is happening? What has happened to us? Kasi sa totoo lang po, there is only one way out of this pandemic, only one way out of depression, only one way out of sadness. Uh, those watching right now all over the world, there's only one way. You cannot do this. You can, we cannot overcome this. But only by the grace of God and our gratefulness to His uh, blessings and grace. Mm. Wow. If we don't see that, nako, madidepress. we will all be depressed with the future of 2021. And you know, it's, I'm really very sorry you know, for people who post on Facebook that 2021 is gloomy year. Oh. You know, it starts off by the color of the year. The color of the year daw is gray, according to whoever invented the color of the year. Gray daw. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, gray. The so-called uh, president-elect so-called huh, president-elect in the U.S., already colored 2021 as black and gloomy. And oh, uh, we reject God. that. Uh, as uh, Christians, you have a choice. Hmm. We always have a choice. So, uh, when sad things are, he are in front of you, bad things are in front of you, you have a choice. No, either you succumb to it or you step back and say, praise the Lord. Oh, you know, sir, God is good. Oh, Jesus is Lord. Uh, and don't, don't just, I uh, know, give in. 
Yeah. There are a lot of bad things happening around us. And uh, yes, I, I feel so sad with uh, hearing a number of suicides, uh, depressions and the like. Uh, people have a choice. They, they could choose to worship the Lord. They could choose to, to live a uh, abundant life, victorious life in Jesus. Yes. It's a choice that they could make. That's very true. <clears throat> in fact, uh, one of the shocking things I heard, no, Pastor Dong and Pastor Ruel, uh, last Sunday, last week, uh, uh, the other week, I mean, uh, two weeks ago, I think, uh, when we had a guest from from uh, a very known medical practitioner, and he tells us that uh, some of his uh, colleagues, you know, have been uh, very, very much affected by what has happened. You know, these are medical people who are so used to it, they're specialists, you know, and some of them uh, even committed suicide. And that's really shocking for, uh, for people who are in that profession who are supposed to give, uh, you know, uh, a, a hope to their patients, but they themselves have been so affected that they, they even uh, take their own lives, you know, and that's really very dangerous. Uh, that kind of a pattern uh, during that uh, 2020 uh, last year, you know, and Pama uh, Isinabi nyo, Pastor Dong and Pastor Ruel, na only, only God's way, only His way, there's no other way, only by His grace are we saved. One of the one of the uh, one of the lessons that uh, we've learned as pastors while studying in Bible school or seminary, or even uh, even meetings with the colleagues who are like-minded, is uh, our work as pastors is is to help uh, redirect the people's mind or people's thoughts you no know, we try to reframe reframe uh the the situation they are in and focus or fix their eyes in Jesus yeah. and and many times even on the even those who are in the uh you say uh medical profession and the like uh that's one of the things sometimes that they lack you no know, uh it, either they it, it's so is so specific, so professionalized, but that uh, sometimes they count God out or they don't welcome like pastors. No, but there are doctors who welcome pastors, and I, I I'm thankful also that I have known uh, pastors who are also doctors, medical doctors. Oh, that's so, wonderful news! Uh, <laughs> in, in a way, you know, uh, that's a that's a good uh, marrying of two. Uh, call it profession or work because you don't just heal the body but you also help heal the soul. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Pastor Rowell, yes. Uh, Pastor Rowell, uh, can, you, uh, can you give us some insights on the, uh, especially on the social media discussions today on uh, what's the most extravagant blessing or a gift you have ever received? No? These were questions that came in. And uh, how did you respond to such generosity? And what steps can you take today to be more generous or be a blessing to others? Uh, Pastor Well, maybe we can uh, have a further discussion on this with Pastor Dong. Yes, Pastor Well, we can. Uh, yes, Pastor Well, can you hear me? Um, Okay. Uh, Pastor okay, Dong? Uh, uh, can you hear us now, uh, Pastor Roel? Yes. Uh, we will repeat the question. Uh, what's the most extravagant gift you have ever received? How did you respond to such generosity? And what steps can you take today to be more generous or be a blessing to others? Yeah. Can, can you hear me now? Can you hear yes, me? Pastor. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Pastor Roel, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> no, wala. Uh, then po. Stay there. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Pastor. Well. <laughs> okay. You know, one of the most challenging uh, experiences now 
uh, that we are all experiencing is uh, talking online and not face to face. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we as human beings uh, were, I believe, created and purposed by God to be related uh, in a you know physically and not uh, online like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if the question goes, how can you be grateful or thankful, especially in a time like as such as this? We have to understand that we are dealing with God as a partner in life. If your partner in business, the reason why you chose him as a partner and he chose you as a partner is because at least you have the same advocacy. You know that he will help you and you will help him, you know, two ways. Yeah. At the same time, you have a pro prospective growth for the business. If God is your partner, and if he is my partner, always remember that God is not limited into what we can do. God can do great and mighty things which we don't know of. Many, many times when we ask God for something, we expect him to answer the exact same thing. But remember, if God is your partner, going back to always that question, if God is your partner, his purposes are far greater than what you can ever imagine or think. So that how can I be grateful now? I wanted to see you, Pastor Dong, and Brother Francis face to face. We want to fellowship, but we cannot have we cannot do it right now. But God is introducing himself in a very different way to you and to me, especially our age. <laughs> we are not technologi technologi technologically um, uh, 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 technologically uh, uh, challenged. Challenged. <laughs> so we are, we are all technologically challenged. <laughs> yeah, I have to ask my daughter to help me. Yes, <laughs> the same goes. Uh, the same goes for most of the people that watch us right now. Mm -hmm. But always remember that God is doing a new thing. Amen. God is always doing a new thing. So how can I be grateful, and how can I also bless others through this? Always, and here's my my answer to that question, uh, Brother Francis. Always ride the vehicle with God if he's your partner. Wow. Just this morning, early, early morning, about 5.30 in the morning, I have a prayer partner every day at 7 o'clock in the morning. At 5.30, he sent me a message and he said, Pastor Tika, I am just going to sleep right now because he works uh, graveyard shift. So he said, wow. can we do the prayer and Bible study tomorrow? I said, sige. And then he said, uh, would you uh, pray for me about this? And he said this, I'm really having a hard time accepting the situation with my daughter. Because the daughter does not live with, her, with him. Very young, two, three, four years old. Oh my goodness. So my suggestion, which really went with a verse that I shared to him also is this. Whether you put yourself in that situation, which he did, many, many times, we put ourselves into a situation. <laughs> <laughs> right. So when we're, when we're in that situation, always believe that God is doing a new thing. So I said, ride the vehicle where God is driving. Because if you don't ride it, you will be run over it. So don't go in the way of the vehicle of God. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021 opens up a very new strain of this mutated virus. <laughs> oh boy. It's a new year and it's a new strain. We don't know where this will take us, but I'll tell you this. 
as Pastor Dong said, and Brother Francis also mentioned in the beginning, that we need to have a thankful heart because if we don't, we will go against the flow of the plan of God. Always remember that God is doing a, a new thing, and that, that's what Isaiah said in his prophecy. God is doing it. Behold, God is doing a new thing. We have to ride his vehicle, so we will ride with him. Because if we don't, we will be run over his vehicle. And we don't want that. We don't want to be complaining. We don't want to be blaming. And we don't want to be hurting deep inside. No, 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 no. Sing songs about praising the Lord. Read the word of God. B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. Mm. And always, always, I'll tell you this, always love the people around you. Love the people around you. December 24, Christmas Eve, my brother-in-law's cousin died at 45, aneurysm. Wow. No clue whatsoever. Aneurysm is a very, very deadly disease. It can happen anytime. Christmas Eve, they were all having fun. He just fell off, died on the spot. The week before Christmas, December 18, one of my good friends, family friends, their son died, 35 years old, leukemia. Two weeks, they found out. First week of December, they found out. After two weeks, he was dead. Very young. You know what they said, these, these families? Love the people around you. And I take that personally. Love them while you can. You don't know when they will go or you will go. We pray that we will all go together. But if God's will is on that vehicle and he's your partner, he's doing a new thing. So be ready this year. There will be new things, good things. Not for us, but for him. So that his purposes will be real and realized through through us. I remember a song that we always have to sing. Oh, yeah. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He is so good to me. He is coming back. He is coming back. He is coming back. He is coming back. He is so good to me. Spanish pastor. Tribo. Tribo. Dios bueno es. Dios bueno es, Dios bueno es, bueno es el Señor. Sa ano pa? Sa Wahili. Natutunan ko yung kata ni Don Moen, ay ni Ron Kinoli. Ung gumwema, ung gumwema, ung gumwema, ung gumwema, kwang gu. Ano eh? Wow. Na, ano, sometimes kasi no it's it's good to be like children again no so merong no, if we can go back no and experience yung mga child like uh, experiences natin na sometimes no we you know, least care some what's happening also but enjoy the presence of God enjoy one another uh, and sometimes kan nangyari kasi when we become old we become so calculative <laughs> Uh, we ano yung we, we ask too many questions naalala ko nga yung kanta ng ano ng Cascades 1962 <laughs> yung, there's a reason there's a oh, reason okay. for a snowfall a reason why a tree fall a reason why a star is bright a reason why the moon blows a reason why the wind blows a reason why it's dark at night but I don't know why I should cry just because you said goodbye, there must be a reason. I like to know why. Misal ganon tayo na no? tanong natin na ng tanong, lagi tayo na tatanong, parang hindi tayo na tututo. Uh. <laughs> no, God has been dealing with us all along, and sometimes we forget what He has done. 
Amen. and continues to do. Sabi nga sa Bible, the Lord has done great things. And the Lord has done, uh, the Lord continues to do great things. Talilimutan Amen. lang natin eh. And yeah, we fail to count our blessings. Kaya nagiging graduate tayo. Nagiging, nagwawain tayo. Nalilimutan na, hey, our God has been faithful to us. Uh, kasi para tayong ano eh, misa tinatrato natin ang Diyos parang politician. Bago mag-eleksyon, syempre, ang bait-bait ng politiko para iboto mo. Pagkatapos ng ilang buwan, ilang taon, babalik ka na naman. Uh, oh, tulungan mo naman ako. Par- parang ganun, no. You don't have to count many months and years. You could come to God anytime. Oh, and and you could prove again and again that our God is a good God. Now, yun ang karakter ng Panginoon natin, eh. Yes, Kaya yes, nakakita natin, God is good. Although, sabi nga ng isang pastor dito, natawa ako kasi tatay niya, pastor. His father was a pastor and he said, he was saying, the, the, the father preached a sermon that Don Moen was wrong. The Bible does not say that God is good all the time. Wala yung all the time sa Bible. Eh, plus nabasa ko itong ano, Psalm 136, no? sabi nga, Hudu uh, Adonai Kito, Ile Olam Kasdo. Uh, give thanks to the Lord is good. His uh, His mercy endures forever. Eh, may forever eh. <laughs> yung forever. ang Diyos natin, good talaga. Amen. Forever. Kaya hindi na siya magbago. Maasahan mo na. Pastor, yung nabanggit mo yung yung partnership. no? Kailangan din doon siyempre yung element of trust, di ba? Yes. The trust of, lalo na yung natutunan natin yung suzerain covenant, no? kailangan merong yung mataas tapos yung, yung mababa uh, yung landlord tsaka yung yung tenant kailangan mag-trust din yung tenant doon sa landlord niya di ba hindi pwedeng yes. hindi pwedeng pala asa ka lang asa ka lang you have to trust that your landlord will do his part you know that he will take care of you that he will supply all your needs no as you work on his farm and yung element of trust eh nalilimutan natin yung trust sa Panginoon din eh Walang And, nangalas, sabi ng Panginoon sa atin eh, read my lips, trust me. <laughs> eh ano kasi, misan, ano tayo, uh, we become, ano ba, paranoid tayo doon sa mga, uh, sa mga nangyayari around us, na no? we become, sabi nga, nag, ano talaga, yung anxiety natin, mataas na ang level. And we have failed to trust God again and again. Yes. Wow. Alam niyo po, I have a short uh, experience uh, in, uh, during Christmas month. Yes, Pastor. For three Thursdays. Ito sunod-sunod, three Thursdays. The first Thursday of uh, December, second Thursday, and the third Thursday of uh, December. Yung third Thursday is the 24th. Eh. Yun na yung Christmas Eve. Three Thursdays in a row. We had scheduled an outreach of uh, feeding 300 street people with spaghetti and bread, and also gospel track, and we want to sing to them. So we are on this pickup truck, the drive again, yan, go around Metro Manila, see people on the streets, and just give you know and sing to them. So three Thursdays, it was really really interesting, po, that before we we went. At four o'clock in the afternoon, I had friends for three Thursday, different friends. They don't know each other, but they're all my friends. Who had a friend who was depressed and mentally very, very much sad and depressed. Different friends. That uh, it came that Thursday, and I said, "Kasi sabi nila, they said, can can we meet with you and just pray for my friend." Three Thursday, different friends, yeah. So they they went. They will come at two o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, they would talk. We would talk, and then they would share the depression, etc., about business, about the relationship, of husband and wife, about their children, etc. Ibang issues, but they all were depressed. And you know what I told them? I said, at five o'clock after we pray, we will give out spaghetti and bread. I encourage you to go with us. Come with us. And I want you to be the one giving the spaghetti and the bread and to sing Christmas songs. <laughs> iba iba po. I was really surprised. It came on a Thursday, three Thursdays yan. 
different different friends. Three, I mean, three men ma- about my age, 40s, mid 40s. Magkakaiba, they don't know each other. But I would have the first Thursday of December, second Thursday, third Thursday. Yeah, they were all coming to me, and then we will pray, and then I will say, "Come with us." And you know what? After they came, after they gave the spaghetti and sang Christmas songs to the street dwellers, after that, they all said individually, they all said, "Alam mo, Pastor, I was really, really happy." Sabi niya, that was a really great idea. At, um, the, here's the thing, pa. The second guy, uh, his name is um, um, Ronnie. You don't know him anyway. But the, the second guy, the second Thursday, Ronnie, you know what he did? The following day, Friday, December uh, 18, Friday, invited his friends to cook spaghetti on their own <laughs> and went around Fairview, the street wow. dwellers in Fairview, Quezon City. And they gave up 100 packs of spaghetti also the following day. Oh, very good. Very good. Now, the question is, have the problems left? I mean, the relationship with the husband, wife, the children, the health, etc., the business, have the problems left? No, it's still there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but inside, you can now focus. Why? Because... All along, they were all thinking of themselves. They were be- being very selfish, only thinking of themselves. Kawawa naman ako. I'm so I'm I'm very pitiful. I'm I'm uh, very sad. I I lost this. I lost that. If you continue to focus yourself, you will forget the blessing of God. But if you continue to focus to other other people, the problem will not leave. You will still have a problem with your wife, with your children, with your business. It will still be, be there, but you have a clearer perspective now. On how the Lord Jesus Christ came to earth and mm-hmm. gave you everything that you have received, and now you're giving it away to other people, not the food, but the, the real need of people, Jesus Christ. And it will really, really help you look at your perspective. 2021 will be a great year. As Pastor Dong said, his love endures forever. Yes. So we can say always, God is good all the time. Oh, all the time, yes. God is good. <laughs> Tawag nga nung pastor, ano eh, sa pastoral uh, counseling term, yung reframing. Uh, yes. Kanang tulungan sila ma-reframe, ma- ma-focus, ibang focus. Focus. Tama yun. Ganda yun, uh, ganda yung ginagawa niya, pastor. Beautiful. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Dong and Pastor Roel. Uh, good news, Pilipinas. Uh, since we have uh, eight minutes more, uh, we are about to wrap up. Pastor Dong, can you start uh, the ball rolling? Uh, in final word. Final word. And then Pastor Ruel will be the closing prayer. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, um, siguro hindi, hindi alam ng marami o hindi nyo alam kayong dalawa. <laughs> um, nung December 23, 2017, kung nag kung nat- Tandaan nyo pa, there was a fire here in Davao, sa mall. Oh. And my daughter was one of the fatalities. It was December 23. It was her last week of work. Mag-resign na siya. Yung kasama niya, last day of work, she just want, she just worked. Then after that, collect yung, ano, yung bonus batas, alis na siya, tapos na. And that happened. Uh... Of course, ano, napakabigat sa amin because um, our daughter just got married June 20, 2017. Then December 23, 2017, she died in, a, in the fire at her workplace along with uh, 37 others. It's the, uh, so far as I know, biggest pa dito sa Davao. And, and again, Nasabi ko kanina, we have a choice. What will we do? Should we cry? Should we isolate ourselves? Uh, others would, would say, uh, uh, baka pastor, uh, baka iwan ko na yung ministry and the like. But we have a choice. And uh, the Lord impressed on us to, to stay on. Uh, and of course, it was hard. Uh, and and even though months have passed, people would still approach me, Pastor, 
I just ano I I I read in the Facebook or I I saw somebody texted me. It was a long time ago. Then when he, when the person saw me, they reminded was reminded of what happened. So, so pastor condolence. Pang ano again parang somehow na renew lagi ano na ulit ulit yun ang yare. But uh, said as okay, it's all right. Thank you. And people have been sometimes texting me. Pastor, we cannot be there. Sorry. Uh, either they are abroad or in Manila because that happened in Davao. Dab- it's all right. And even those who who were, I know, who came, say, uh, uh, ko, your mere presence is so much for us already. Your is oh, very comforting, very encouraging. As if, as if I'm telling, I was telling them. You don't have to say a word. You, mm. Your mere presence. Presence, amen. Or, or, you know, na lang iba na your 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 mere uh, text, no. Okay, na yon. Kasi alam ko na may marami pala nagmamahal sa anak ko. Uh, sabi nga nung isang missionary, I I I've, I've been in Davao for more than 30 years, and when a pastor died, I sometimes I would see 30, 50 people, but this. This 27-year-old daughter of Pastor Dong, no, bulat siya, over 300 came. I said, because of the lives that we have impacted while we were living. No? Uh, ganun siya, siya. She has led worship uh, sessions dito sa Davao, sometimes combined, sometimes at church. She has shared her, 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 ano ba, her, yung life niya and the Lord has rewarded her even in times of death no, the people honored her and uh, kami nga na, parang natuwa rin kami ganito pala yung anak ko and of course during that time we chose para sa amin we, ano eh yung abiding faith and obedience Lord uh, yeah. hindi lang naman kami ganito marami rin mga dumanas na ganitong hirap anong gagawin namin uh, shall we quit or what no, we did not quit no, sabi yeah. na We would choose to abide Amen. in the Lord, yeah. abiding faith and obedience. We will Amen. continue. And siyempre, maging encouragement ka dun sa iba na dumanas ng yes. similar situation. Uh, nagulat nga ibang missionary. Yung isang hudyo nagulat pa. Sabi niya, if I were in his place, I cannot do that. Sabi niya. Wow. Sabi ko, sabi ko the Lord you, is good to us. Yeah. Salamat, Pastor Dong, ha, for that uh, very touching uh, experience you had. With, with what happened to your daughter and, and how God Amen. moved His way. So, Amen. Pastor uh, Ruel, can you lead us now to a closing prayer? Yes, let, let's pray together, mga kapatid. Let's, yeah. let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for a beautiful time, the first Sunday of the year, 2021. And we know, Lord God, that you have created already the purposes of this year, that you have been here before us. And we know, Lord, that uh, if we are dependent on our happiness Because it is dependent on happenings. But we need joy in the Lord because it's dependent on Jesus. And I pray mm-hmm. that if there is anyone watching right now that does not have Jesus in their heart because they don't have joy, they will receive you as Lord and Savior right now. Follow me in this prayer. You say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I accept what you did on the cross, paying for all my sins. Make me a child of God. Not because of myself, but because because of your grace and mercy on me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen and amen. Blessed and happy, happy New Year 2021. God's blessing is the one and only blessing that counts both for time and eternity. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Dong. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, well. Francis, for the opportunity. <laughs> Pastor Ruel, great right. to see you. Shalom. God bless Shalom. Shalom. You. Pilipinas, DCRJ, 8.10am, Radio Bandido TV. Saludo po sa inyong Salud. lahat. Kabuhay po ang Pilipinas. The views and comments of the hosts and guests are not necessarily those